Hello and welcome to today's video. Today, I wanna to talk to you about why I want to work with you one-on-one -on -one and tell you a little bit about what it actually looks like. So the main reason I wanna work with you one-on-one -on -one is the fact that it is just the single best way I can help you the most to get you the best, fastest results. It really is as simple as that. I've done group coachings, I've sold digital products of courses, things about gut health and a whole bunch of different things. But what I see over and over and over again is the people that I'm able to talk with and work with one-on-one -on -one generally tend to get the best results in the shortest period of time. Now, there are a couple of reasons for this, but I think the biggest is the fact that I can actually have a talk with you and walk you through your current health situation, how you got here and what it is you're currently facing now. I can help you understand what the symptoms you're currently experiencing actually mean and help you build a customized targeted plan to support your body so that those symptoms don't need to be there anymore. I personally have overcome dozens of chronic and considered incurable chronic health problems from a whole cascade of different digestive problems to chronic fatigue, adrenal fatigue, three or four different autoimmune conditions, including Sjogren's syndrome, autoimmune arthritis. I've gone from being literally living on disability benefits. I was so sick. I was bed bound and I was receiving disability benefits. I was disabled. Now I'm able to work full time. I'm able to go to the gym three times a week. My digestion still isn't perfect, but I was very ill for a very long time and I've made some enormous strides. I can drink alcohol again. I can eat pizza if I want to. And I'm not saying I do that every day, but I could if I wanted to. And when I look back at my journey, when I look back at all of the things that I've had to experience and all of the symptoms and conditions that I've overcome, I think how long it took me and how if I knew a little bit more about what was going on, if I was able to understand my symptoms a little bit more clearly, I would have changed my approach and I know I would have been able to achieve these results in a significantly shorter period of time. So this is why I really want to work with you is I wish I had somebody like myself to work with me when I was going through my healing process. Because I know if I'd made a couple of changes, if I'd have made a little tweak here and there or gone about doing some things in a different order, I could have achieved the results that I have achieved, which are still incredible. You know, some people have these conditions until the day that they die and I've already overcome most of them, but it took me a period of around five to seven years. And I genuinely believe I could have done it in maybe two and a half, maybe three and a half, if I'd known a little bit more what I was doing. If I wasn't just figuring it out as I was going along. So when I have a consultation with somebody now, and just for the record, I've had over a thousand consultations with different individuals, helping them figure out their root cause and helping them understand the, the most powerful and simple changes that they can implement to change the trajectory of their current health situation. So with over a thousand sessions of experience already at the ripe young age of 27, can you believe it? I found most people fall into one of two categories. There's some people that I talk with and they they're already well on the right track. I can look at their labs, their symptoms, and the approach that they're taking to tackle their current health situation. And I know unquestionably, it's literally just a matter of time. There's no doubt in my mind if they're gonna heal, it's just a matter of when, how long is it gonna take them? And when I consult with somebody like this, what I'm looking to do is to just speed this process along, just cut a year or two off of the end of their recovery and help them get there a little bit more quickly. Let me know in a comment below if you think that's you. And then we've got the second type of person. These are people who are maybe struggling a little bit more. Maybe they feel a little bit lost, a little bit confused. And, and I I understand even having my own YouTube channel myself I know I'm putting information out there and you can drown in information you've got one person telling you to do this and another person telling you to do the exact opposite thing and you're just left in the middle pulling your hair out not knowing do I do this do I do that what the hell is going on and for these people what I can help them with in the consultation is clarity is helping them figure out how to take this knowledge and all of these different options and figure out what is the best for them and how do we apply this specific knowledge to their individual situation. Sometimes it's a matter of going about things in, in a different order. Some people are prioritizing things and neglecting others when really we need to shift this priority list. For some people, it's a dosage thing. I've spoken with many people who are definitely on the right track. They're doing the right things, but the dosage is off. Maybe they're too high and they're pushing too fast and that's pulling their body out of balance. Or maybe the dose isn't high enough and therefore it's not really an effective modality because the dosage is the key. As with almost anything, the difference between a medicine and a poison is the dose. So some of the common things are methylation support, Epsom salt bath dosage, probiotics, 
Some people are doing the right things, just not at the right dose. And we need to customize it a little bit. And one final thing here is just simplicity. I truly encourage simplicity in all the things I do. I really want a minimalist approach. My thought process behind this is that if you really do understand what's going on, if you can look at a situation, so you can look at symptoms, you can look at testing, you can look at history, you can begin to piece together a picture and start to understand the underlying dysfunction in the given situation. If you can clearly understand the situation and you can understand that problem, I believe you should be able to tackle this in a very simple, in a very minimalist way more than half the time when I'm consulting with somebody, they're on a list of 20 plus supplements. And to me, this feels really excessive. And like, you, there's not that much clarity on why you're taking the things you're taking and what they're actually doing. I really believe the sweet spot with supplements is maybe five or six. And each of these supplements you're taking, you will feel them. Like if you stop taking them, you would miss them. And just think about the cost of that alone. Imagine the cost of going from 20 supplements a day down to five. The cost of the consultation with me is literally paid for by itself, by the fact that we've simplified your approach and removed all of this peripheral, unhelpful, expensive and costly things that you, you don't actually need. They're not actually helping all that much. Now I know not everybody can afford one-on-one -on -one support. I'm fully aware of that. And that is why I do my best to make YouTube videos that are informative, to create posts, we have an emailing list. I, I genuinely care about the people in my community, the people that I that I talk to and connect with. But for those that do have the resources and just want to go a little bit faster, want to get a little bit more clarity, that's exactly what this one-on-one -on -one coaching is for. So when I have this initial consultation with an individual, let's say you, I want to walk you through a little bit about how it actually works. What does it look like on my end? So I've got this really cool app that synchronizes to your time zone. So you open that, the booking link and it will take you to a page where you get to pick a date and time that suits you wherever you are in the world. If you're in Australia, if you're in America, I have clients everywhere. I have clients on every continent on earth, from more than 35 different countries. So you open up that link and it shows you what availability I have. At the time of recording this video, I tend to be booked out about one or two weeks in advance. So when you book this consultation, it will prompt you to provide some details for me. It will give you my email and you can send me all of your medical history, all of the testing that you have available. You can send me over a food diary and, and really anything that you think is relevant to your current health situation. I'll review everything before we talk. Then we have the consultation. I've got all of this information in mind. I will review your labs just before we talk. That way I've got everything in my mind. Just reviewing your symptoms, your history, your testing. I'm already starting to build up a picture of what I think is going on. And I'm starting to kind of build this almost theoretical plan of action. And I bring that to the consultation and then we talk. So my goal when we're having that consultation is first of all, to make sure that we understand your root cause. So the root cause is defined as the instigating event into your into the manifestation of your symptoms or into the chronic health decline or whatever situation it is that you find yourself in currently there's usually one or maybe even a few like for me personally i had five root causes so it's really important that we try to understand what caused this situation to happen in the first place. So there's a little bit of investigation going on in the beginning. This is a really helpful layer of information to add to all of the stuff that you sent me before the consultation to help me continue to build this picture of understanding of what's going on in your situation. We're then going to take a little bit more about your progression. You know, how did we get from that initial root cause to where you are now? And I'm going to really begin to piece together an understanding of where is this dysfunction occurring in your body that's causing you to have the symptoms that you have. And then as we continue through, I'm going to be looking to build you a plan of generally speaking, when I'm normally aiming for three, three tangible, actionable steps that you can implement in your life that are going to help you to address the underlying dysfunction that is causing your body to present with the symptoms that it is so that you can then begin to feel better. I really try to max it out at three. I know some people go to consultations with others and they they leave with a list of 12 or 15 supplements. And I just think it's confusing. I don't think it's helpful. And I think if you really know what's going on, you can do it in two or three changes. And besides, if you do so many things all at the same time, you don't know what's actually helping. Some things might be providing some benefit and some things might not. And it can be really hard to tell either way. So I really like to keep things simple and to make sure that they're really personalized and targeted towards what your body is telling us with the symptoms that you're experiencing. One of my favorite things about this is trying to look at the presentation that we see with the, the symptoms and the history and trying to find the two or three changes or modalities or implementations that we're going to use that are going to cover as many of these mechanisms of dysfunction as possible. So you've probably heard that saying, 
two birds with one stone. Or when I'm doing one of these consultations and we're looking at implementing these two or three changes, really on my end, I'm aiming for five or even six birds with one stone. And this is why even though we only make two or three changes, we're addressing a multitude of levels of different dysfunctions with the same modality or change or supplement. You can think about it like instead of having a lot of changes, we have very few, very powerful changes. And I find that makes way more difference. So my goal is that you leave that consultation not only fully understanding your root cause and understanding a little bit more about why you have the symptoms that you do and how they are expressions of an underlying dysfunction in the biomechanics or the metabolism of your body, but also two or three tangible actionable steps. So these are going to be either supplements, changes, modalities, and I will estimate doses to the best of my ability so that you can leave that consultation knowing exactly what I think you need to do. As we do this consultation, I'm also trying to assess if I think you would be a good fit for one of my coaching programs. So knowing what I do and having the experience and expertise that I have, often just that initial consultation alone can be very profoundly impactful in someone's healing trajectory. But even the best practitioner in the world will tell you that you can build an initial plan, but you really have to see how the body responds to the things that we implement. Because ultimately, the bottom line is that the body is in control. The body is what does all of the healing. So if I come up with some strategic changes that I think we could implement to support the body's dysfunction, and we try it, and the body says no, we have to respect that. There's no pushing through. There's no ego or arrogance to it. We're trying to understand what the body is telling us, and we're working with the body. So for this reason, I really like to work with people in the confines of a coaching program. So a coaching program is designed to allow me to follow along with what's going on as you implement the changes that we've talked about in that first session. Generally speaking, we tend to have quite a high session frequency. So we're normally talking at least once every two weeks on a consultation. I personally believe that a lot of time is wasted when people work with practitioners that only see them once every six weeks, once every two months, because you leave the appointment with a list of supplements and different things to try, and you're kind of left to figure it out. And you might be feeling better or worse, but there's no optimization. There's no personalization. There's no calibration. And I find that I'm very often able to help my clients achieve a 60 to an 80% symptom improvement in as little as 12 weeks. And I truly believe it's because we're looking at the underlying dysfunction, we're working with the intelligence of the body, and the level of support and connection that I have to my clients allows me to help them tweak and fine tune the approach of the things that we've implemented so that we don't waste so much time. Healing can take years. It has taken years for me, but you, I genuinely believe you can feel better in weeks and months not years because you not feeling good almost all of the time is due to some underlying dysfunction body is trying to do something and it can't body's trying to complete a job and it can't and if we can figure out what that is and correct it and that doesn't take years we're talking days weeks maybe months if we can address that underlying dysfunction you will feel better immediately so because we're already going in in a very minimalist very targeted approach we're already trying to understand what's going on and and a approach it in a very specific, individualized, personalized way. And then we're following up with these little tweaks, these little changes to make sure that we're doing it in the optimal way that the body wants. And we're mainly doing this based on symptoms, based on how you feel, because symptoms are a form of biofeedback. They're your body telling us what's going on. Your body is telling us how it's responding to the things that we're implementing. So we take that feedback and we listen and we adjust, we adapt, we change the approach according to what the body says. So this is really why I want to work with you, because I've seen people that have chronic health problems for decades, 10, 20, 30 years. Many people that have chronic health problems will wear their chronic health problems to the grave. They will never fully understand them and they'll never be able to let them go. And for most people, just watching YouTube videos, doing research on the internet, isn't enough to help them understand the changes that they truly need to make. So you being able to talk with me one-on-one -on -one helps me to help you figure out what's going on in your body and what your body is asking you for and how we can give it what it wants so that you can start to feel better, so that you can heal, so that you can live a life pain and symptom free. So I hope you've got a better idea of why I like to work with people one-on-one, -on -one, why I would like to work with you 
one on one. Now I want to give you a little bit of an idea about my particular skill sets. I want to walk you through some of my strengths and some of my weaknesses. And yes, you heard me right, weaknesses. I do have weaknesses and I do kind of want to advertise them. I want to make sure that if you are going to book that call with me, it is going to be really valuable for you. And if you're facing issues that I can't really help you with, then I would prefer that you actually knew that so that you could go and work with somebody else that could help you instead. So let's start with testing. I would say my biggest strengths when it comes to testing are looking at the gut and the microbiome. So obviously we've got stool and microbiome tests, but we've also got things like SIBO testing and organic acids testing. Organic acids, even though it's a urine test, actually tells you a lot about what's going on inside the small intestine. I also feel very strong working on hormone testing with regards to adrenal and stress hormones and the male side of things so things like testosterone and finally genetics and methylation i absolutely love doing methylation consultations the main reason being with the correct methylation support so many people feel so much better it's just a delightful thing to be able to to watch happen to somebody's life and my weaknesses when it comes to testing i definitely don't have as much experience with female hormones as i do with male hormones not to say I don't have any, my wife has struggled with PCOS, so we've worked through that, but I would say my biggest weakness comes in around menopause and when we're really looking at specifically the female hormones, estrogen, progesterone, and especially the complexities of the female cycle. If you've done any research into it at all, you know that female hormones is quite a complex subject. And being a man myself is not something I've put as much time and effort into developing. So while I wouldn't go as far as to call it a strong weakness, I would say it's definitely not a strength of mine. What I would put into my weaknesses category would be HTMA, hair testing mineral analysis. I really don't know that much about the mineral balancing process of the body. I don't know much about the ratios between zinc and copper. And I, I know enough about HTMA testing to know that it is a lot more complex than just looking at it and seeing, oh, the potassium's low, it's a potassium deficiency. Oh, the mercury is high, it's mercury toxicity. Oh, it's low, it's not mercury toxicity. Hair mineral testing is very complex. So if that's something you want help with, I'm probably not your guy for that. So next, we're moving on to the approach and modalities. So my strengths are definitely with being gentle with the body, with going slow. I myself was an extremely highly sensitive person. I was on a really restricted diet of five foods for over five years. I couldn't tolerate any supplements. So I've definitely got some expertise around working with highly sensitive individuals and going slow and steady and really working with the body and not brute forcing anything. I have a lot of expertise working in the gut, in the digestive system, working in addressing nutrient deficiencies. And I would say the common theme behind my approach is that I'm always trying to work with the body. I'm always trying to utilize body's innate wisdom and intelligence. So instead of doing really aggressive or intense or complicated processes, I'm always trying to make the body do all of the hard work because the body is the one doing the work in the end. The common theme of, of my approach and where I'd say my strength is, is really in keeping things simple, is really in working with the body and doing so in a gentle and supportive way. Some treatment modalities that I don't have much experience with would be the more aggressive cleansing and detoxing, these very strong anti-parasite protocols, doing things like extreme fasting, you know, 10 plus days water fasting. I'm a huge fan of fasting, but I like to utilize it in a very gentle and supportive way. So anything that's more extreme, more harsh, more aggressive, that's not my strength. I also don't have any experience with chelation, so that's not something I can help you with. It's also worth noting that I'm not a doctor, so I don't have any prescriptive power, and I can't provide you any medical advice, especially when it comes to medication. I can help you understand how the medication works. I can help you understand what it's doing in your body. I could even help you strategize how you could work on this color. But you'll also see a parallel there with HRT, especially when it comes to women's hormones. So can't really help you with medication can't help you with HRT, can't help you with chelation, and I can't help you with anything that's really harsh, really aggressive, really forceful on the body. That's not my strength. And as far as conditions and symptom sets that I'm best equipped to help you with. First of all, it's almost anything I went through myself. I had an enormous list, but really anything digestive you have going on, I can almost certainly help you with, whether that's towards constipation, diarrhea, if it's SIBO, gut infections, food sensitivities, anything like that, I can help you. If you have sensitivities to things other than food, so things like chemical sensitivities, sensitivity, chronic inflammatory response syndrome, mast cell activation, histamine intolerance, any of those kinds of things, I can definitely help you with them. Anything like what I would categorize as a 
sensory processing disorder. So this is things like mesophonia, dyslexia, dyspraxia, ADHD, even going as far as things like autism. I love working with autistic kids, so I can certainly help you with that. Anything connected to energy. So if you chronically don't have energy, if this is chronic fatigue syndrome, adrenal fatigue, I've walked this path. I get it. I can help you with that. I can also help with certain mental health things, but that does depend a little bit on the individual. So the only way I can really tell you how much I can help is if I get to know a little bit more about you. Some conditions that I can't help you all that much with will be things like cardiac and pulmonary problems, things like cancer, and obviously, as I talked about before, things like menopause or some of these more, more complex or late stage female health problems. What I can say about the female hormonal problems is a lot of them are based in a cortisol problem or a stress response. So if we correct that, a lot of the time those things go better and I do I can help you there but if you've already tackled that adrenal component stress hormones are doing great and you're just dealing with menopause kinds of symptoms that's not my expertise can't help you with that too much well hopefully I've given you everything you need to know to help you decide if you want to book in a call with me if I for some reason didn't and there's something that's missing if you have any questions or hesitations or doubts you can leave me a comment below I'll make sure I get back to you or if it's a little bit more personal or private feel free to shoot me an email you can email me at support at williamdickinson.co.uk. My closing sentiment for this video would be to trust your gut. If you get a good feeling about me, if you think I am the person that can help you out right now, you're probably right. If your gut's saying, no, maybe he's not the right person, maybe we should go with that other person, then do that, go with that other person. I really wanna emphasize I'm not just in it for the money. I really want you to get that health outcome at the end. And if I'm the person to help you do it, then I would love to see you book in. And if you don't think I'm that person, then no worries. I hope you enjoy the YouTube videos. I hope you enjoy the content. Keep following along because maybe I will be one day. But in the meantime, I hope you find the person that you're looking for to help you figure this all out. It's really important that you're careful what you believe. If you go to mainstream doctors, they're going to tell you it's incurable, it's unfixable. There's nothing you can do. It's chronic, it's genetic. You just have to deal with it. And if I'd settled for that, by this point, I absolutely would have killed myself. There is no way I would have endured or been able to tolerate an existence like I had. So don't give up hope. Don't stop asking questions, keep trying new things. And if you feel like you're ready for a little bit more support from me on a one-on-one -on -one basis, be sure to click that link in the description below and book yourself a call with me. I'm really excited to talk to you. I genuinely, I can't wait. I love doing what I do. I'd love to see how I can help you figure out what's going on in your life right now. As always, any questions, let me know. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.